بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس دس از یور سائنس ٹیچر مسز مدی ہاشرف ویلکم ٹو آل آف یو ان جنرل سائنس کلاس دس از آر چیپٹر نمبر سکس دیٹ از واٹر ان آر پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو ڈسکس دا امپورٹنس آف واٹر اینڈ واٹر سائیکل لیٹس ری کیپ آر پریویس لیکچر I will ask you some questions. You have to answer. Write it down in your lecture copy. The question number one is in our environment. Where is the most water? And where is the least water? Well, recheck your answers now. Most of the water in our environment is present in seas and oceans and how much it is 97 percent and the least amount of water is present in form of rivers lakes and groundwater and how much it is only one percent now what process take place in water cycle name the processes that take place during the water cycle these are evaporation condensation and precipitation recall what is evaporation evaporation is the conversion of liquid water into water vapors due to the heat of sun What is condensation? Condensation is the conversion of liquid is the conversion of water vapors that is the gaseous state of water into the liquid form on cooling. So during cloud formation which process take place that was the condensation. What is the precipitation? Pre precipitations occur when the clouds become too heavy due to the presence of liquid water and then this water falls on the ground what are the forms of pure water during precipitation in which form it appears on the ground your answer will be in the form of rain in form of snow or slates see this river the water inside it is totally clear or transparent but if you see this picture you can see the dirty water with lot of garbage here if i'll ask you to choose a river for uses of water which one will you prefer of course this one the crystal clear water that is free from any garbage or dirt who causes this polluted water or dirty or garbage who throw the garbage in this some human activities are responsible for this polluted or dirty water see the picture number 1 what is happening in this one in this picture the litter or the rubbish is directly thrown into the water bodies if you notice here what is happening the washing of the cloths the water is directly thrown into the rivers that may carry soap or detergent 
with it and the lakes rivers adjacent to the cities towns or even parks we throw the rapids or all type of the garbage over there so the human activities are responsible for water pollution so what is our today's topic our today's topic is about water pollution now we will see what does it mean by pollution pollution is anything unwanted in land air or water that is harmful is called pollution what are the pollutants pollutants are the components or harmful substances whether in solid liquid or gaseous form or these are the impurities these substances harmful substances or impurities are called pollutants what is water pollution now you can define the water pollution water pollution is the contamination of water it is the contamination of water bodies like lakes rivers oceans aquifers and ground water with with what with undesirable substances which make this water unfit for usage is termed as water pollution you can see the picture along it that showing the water pollution water pollution is due to the human activities like the garbage is thrown directly fertilizers and some effects are also shown here now we will see the causes of river or water pollution in this picture the first one is shown as acid drain second one industrial waste fertilizers farmyard waste effluent from sewage work oil pollution thermal pollution from cooling tower these are some sources or some causes that pollutes the water directly or indirectly what are the causes of water pollution we have divided into sub headings these five sub headings are name as air pollutants or acid rain domestic waste also name as sewage factorial discharge surface run off and agriculture waste as acid rain acid rain when ever in industries or in fact is something is prepared the very important substance that are made up of sulfur and nitrogen are used so the exhaust from these factories or the smoke from these factories contain the compounds or the gas from sulfur and nitrogen like sulfur dioxide or nitrogen oxides dioxide and monoxides these gases sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide these gases are present in the smoke of factory waste or the exhaust gases these gases are toxic one and they are present in the atmosphere when ever there is a rainfall these gases dissolve in rain water and form the respective acids like sulfur dioxide form the sulfuric acid this water is absorbed or taken up by the plants or the aquatic life so this acid rain pollutes the water rain water that's why it is named as acid rain due to the formation of acids so this is how the water is now contaminated or having the acids in it the next one is the industrial waste water factories 
and industries discharge their waste water directly into the nearby water bodies this water or this discharge water contain different type of the chemicals even hot water is present there some toxic heavy metals are present which may harms to the plants animals and even the humans the waste water generated through the industrial process like industries from iron and steel industry food industry chemical industry cement industry many more these all discharge their water into some water bodies these may contain toxic materials like heavy metals when the waste water or the waste stream mix up with the natural water bodies so they also become the polluted and this polluted water may harm the life of plants animals and even humans domestic sewage the waste water after the household activities also thrown into the nearby water bodies so the waste containing urine feces laundry waste soap detergents so they may ca cause water borne diseases these are diarrhea typhoid cholera and dysentery domestic sewage contain phosphorus and nitrates which can cause an unwanted algal bloom in ponds and in lakes we have already done uh, during the topic of fertilizers that algal bloom was named a eutrophication process so these are the effects of sewage water or these affects the water quality negatively this water is unfit for the usage whether for domestic purpose or for drinking purpose it is now unfit for our use agriculture waste how look at this some farms are there so the waste of the animals directly goes to the water bodies when farmers use the fertilizers why they use the fertilizers to give or to get the maximum yield of their crops these fertilizers are washed by rain water and goes to the water bodies they may cause the process of eutrophication and the water become dirty so include pesticides chemical fertilizers manures they run off from the agriculture field farmlands and go to the nearby ponds lakes or streams these waste can seep through the ground and cause the ground water pollution also so this is how agriculture waste is added to the water and cause the water pollution surface run off when surface run off after the heavy rainfall or during flood then water carries sand dirt silt minerals or fertilizers along with it and eventually it reaches to the sea so surface run off what it carry with it the water carries the minerals fertilizers silt dirt sand along with it and reaches to the seas and cause the pollution in the seas so these were some steps we have discussed there are many more we can list up but we have divide them into the few steps 
general steps water pollution becomes a very serious problem we should be careful we should stop to those activities which are causing the water pollution or that harms or affects the human lives and also the life of the aquatic organisms how we can stop or how we can minimize the water pollution water pollution preventions some steps can be taken like sewage treatment the water can be treated in a way that cleans the dirt from it and make it fit for domestic use that is named as the sewage treatment we will discuss the sewage treatment in our next class number 2 prevent the river water to get polluted whenever you go to parks or some other recreational activities to perform then try to uh, stop the things into the don't throw the rubbish or the litter into the water bodies or the river or the lakes adjacent to that area routine cleaning is shown here that water bodies should be cleaned thoroughly after some time self hygiene is there avoid boats that use the harmful fuels like you may have uh, listen about the oil spread during some accidents oil tankers the water become oily so they may cause the death of the fish and other aquatic life similarly and other activity is shown here keep the nearby pond water clean and safe like uh, the person in the rural area use them for their animals cleaning now we can list up the causes of water pollution septic tanks animal dung farming pesticides water table industrial waste household waste waste water nuclear waste oil pollution or many more of the points are there which you can add you can add by yourself also but major process or the major uh, steps we have discussed the causes of water pollution now there is an assignment for you we have divided the areas to urban and the rural areas both causing the water pollution now imagine both one that what is the difference in both areas and you can mark out some of the differences how you can mark out the differences like uh, factories are built up in the urban areas while these are rare in the rural areas farmlands agriculture work where these activities are done in urban or the rural areas in rural areas similarly you can also point out uh, the sewage water sewage water containing this substance from urban areas and the sewage water coming from the rural areas they contain which type of the substance so uh, general points are there which you have to mark out for the water pollution these are caused by with the reference to the points we have discussed these were sewage industrial agriculture acid or uh, pollutant in the air 
this assignment you have to solve this one on your rough copy and uh, what we have to try now individually that we should try to minimize the water pollution because water is the God's valuable gift. So we should try to minimize the water pollution. That is uh, the end of our today's lesson. You have to prepare the lecture well and also note it down on your lecture copy. Then relevant questions are also given. On page number 78, you have to try to solve them by your own. And uh, in next class, I will give you the hint about that as yourself. Till that, Allah Hafiz class. Thank you. Have a nice day.